Today I'm going to be showing you how to install your tank gauge. Here's a list of everything you're going to need. Your tank gauge and base plate, screws that are suitable for installation on your tank, a drill, two AA batteries, your phone, a screwdriver and a marker pen. The first thing you're going to need to do is to go to the App Store or the Google Play Store and download the app. Just set up your account on your phone and install your gauge and it's ready to go. When you're handling a gauge, just be sure not to drop the float. Just have a firm grip around the base plate and the float itself. Next up, we're going to install the batteries in the unit. So first off, you're going to need to pop off the rear cover. This is the ceiling cover of your unit. And then inside that, there's going to be a battery cover. Just insert the two AA batteries into the battery housing and replace the battery cover. You can leave the rear cover off for now because we're going to be calibrating your gauge. Next, you just need to follow the steps in the app to connect the gauge to your phone. Now you'll be asked to calibrate your gauge. All this does is make sure your gauge is zeroed before you install it on your tank. To do this, just hold down the button for five seconds and you'll note the light will blink twice. Now you can reinstall the rear cover making sure that it's evenly seated around the full perimeter. This will stop any water ingress into your tank gauge. Next, you'll be asked if you want remote connectivity. This will allow you to read the readings on your tank gauge from anywhere that you get an internet connection. We go through this in more detail in our overview video. Once you've made your selection here, it's time to start setting up your tank. The first measurement will be to the top of your tank, but it's easier to think of this as where you're going to install your tank gauge. On this tank here, we're going to install it on this surface. So we're going to need to measure up to here. Next, you can add more details for a precise reading. On this step, we're going to measure from the ground up to the bottom level of our overflow. This will allow your tank gauge to give really precise readings about the level of water in your tank. Now you've set up your app. Next, we're going to install the tank gauge itself. Rotate the indicator bezel on the outside of the tank to show where the empty level is for your tank. You'll note here that the numbers go backwards. On this tank here, we're going to be setting it up to our level. On this tank, we're going to install it on this surface here. Even though it's angled, that's okay. This is just a nice flat surface that'll be a good mounting point for our gauge. Just make sure wherever you install your tank gauge, you put it in an easy to read location. And also, ensure that it's not closer than 150 mil to the outside of the tank. Using a 38 to 44 millimeter hole saw, drill a hole in the position where you want to mount your tank gauge. Then, twist off the base plate from your tank gauge. This is the part that we're going to screw to the tank. You'll note on the base plate that it has some small logos and arrows. When you're installing the base plate, you should make sure that these are pointing in the direction you want to view your tank gauge. With the arrows pointing in the correct direction, mark and drill a pilot hole for your first screw hole. Just a quick tip here, depending on what material your tank is made from, it might be easier for you to just mark out one screw hole first and attach this screw. This can make it a little bit easier to align the other screw holes. Once you've done this, Insert the other three screws into the base plate. And that's the base plate mounted properly. Next up, we just want to get the float and slowly lower it through the hole in the center of the base plate till it rests on the surface of the water inside your tank. Then lower the tank gauge into the base plate. Then just twist the tank gauge into position and you'll feel it lock into place. That's it. Your tank gauge is installed. Now you'll be able to go to your app and get the readings from your tank. Thanks.